something that we've all saw for quite a while now. Like, uh, they're always coming after, like, all the old shows. Remember when shows, uh, comedy shows and that were uh, funny? Do you remember? I remember. I don't watch TV anymore. Uh, Little Britain sketch, racist and outdated, Ofcom audience research says. So it's been done by the TV regulator Ofcom. Uh, a Little Britain sketch has been deemed explicitly racist and outdated, with some viewers surprised it is still available to watch on BBC iPlayer. TV watchdog Ofcom showed, uh, showed people a number of clips as part of a study into views on potentially offensive content. The Little Britain sketch, first shown in 2003, features a David Williams character using racist terms to describe an Asian character. Ofcom said participants in its research felt that society had moved on. I mean, no, it hasn't. These are all just sort of deciding that for us. Uh, I found Little Britain funny. I did. I used to find Little Britain quite funny. But then you had all the old good stuff, man. Remember Monkey Dust? Remember Monkey Dust? Remember the League of, League of, uh, League of Gentlemen? That was, oh. Those were good. Those were funny, but they'll be coming after them as well. Although the creator of Monkey Dust... Uh, he knew he had cancer and he knew he was dying, so he just kind of decided, I'm going to write the most horrendous stuff ever, and just didn't care. Monkey Dust is very good, by the way. Monkey Dust. I advise that you download all of these, by the way, because, uh, <clears throat> yeah, eventually they're going to be very difficult to get a hold of while they get memory hold in uh, the BBC and all that, try and pretend that they never did any of that in the first place. In response, the BBC, BBC said, all jokes in our output are judged on context and intent. The sketches in which the character Linda Flint makes reference to the appearance or race of a series of people are, are intended to expose and ridicule some of the outdated prejudices and racism that still exist in parts of British society, which is more apparent when viewing the sketches within the context of a full episode and across the series as a whole and uh, I would agree with that. Uh, the programme is part of the BBC's comedy, comedy Archive, and information is provided for iPlayer viewers about the inclusion of discriminatory language. I love... I love all those warnings that you get on TV shows now, like, you get on medication bottles, <laughs> like, warning, may cause laughter, or something like that, this, this contains the naughty, 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 no, no words, and everyone's just this cringe. Uh, before viewers click to watch the episode, they see a warning that reads, contains adult humour, incredible, I wouldn't have expected that from the adult comedy show. Uh, it contains discriminatory language. Uh, polling uh, company Ipsos, who are uh, Ipsos, who are useless by the way, they are useless, questioned 115 people on Ofcom's behalf for the research. Uh, a few, wait a minute, no, I've got Ipsos confused with Ipso. Never mind, I was off by a letter. Never mind, I take that back. Ipso, however, are completely useless. Uh, a few participants said that they found it funny, but seemed embarrassed to say this and could recognise why it would be offensive, the media regulator's report said. That's because the jokes are intended to be funny, they're meant to elicit laughter from people, but because of the chilling effect that's happened with speech and nobody wants to be labelled as a racist, Nazi, bigot, blah, 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 blah. Because of all of that, people are like, oh, that's kind of funny, but I don't want to say that it's funny. Uh, and that's called the chilling effect. That's uh, one of the one of the things the government implements to try and move people away from offensive humour because we should be an accepting, tolerant society. And by that, they mean you're not allowed to joke about anyone, ever. No jokes about race or gender or sexuality. Not all banned, all verboten. Like, that's controlled. You're not allowed to do that anymore. And, of course, Ofcom are coming in and saying that as well. And they're the guys that literally regulate TV. They literally regulate the information that you're allowed to access. Uh, this content is not considered acceptable for linear TV, and many were surprised that it was available on BBC iPlayer. <clears throat> Others thought a VOD video on demand platform was appropriate because it meant that viewers could have the choice about whether to watch the content or not. I mean, even if you're running it on TV, people still have the choice. There's this thing called a channel changer, right? A, a remote. You pick it up, you push a button, and you watch something else. You still have the choice. It's not, oh no, I've changed it to this channel. Oh, I'm now forced to sit here and watch this in its entirety. That's not how TV works. Like, you can... Switch it off and go do something else. Go write your blog. I saw an offensive thing on the TV today. <laughs> oh, who cares? Uh, however, they did not think the current rating was enough, want wanting a warning about the racist language and an explanation for why it was still accessible. Uh, because some people find it funny. That's why it sells. It sells massively. It really sells. <laughs> like uh, that's, that's your explanation. People like that kind of comedy. That's why it sells. The reason anything sells is because people like it. That's why, if there is demand for something, the market will step in and fill that demand. 
That's why. Welcome to basic fucking economics. Uh, for, for some, the content was considered too problematic, even for VOD. So because this little group of losers were offended by it, no one's allowed to watch it. No one's allowed to watch it ever. That's it. It's banned. These little group of people have decided what about 60-odd million people are allowed to watch. I find this problematic. Uh, how about tough shit? How about tough? Tough shit. How about that? Eh? How about I watch whatever I want to watch and you watch whatever you want to watch and we both go about our lives? No, we can't do that, can you? You don't like the fact that you're not able to exert your authority over others. You want the world to change to suit your little fucking stupid, pathetic sensibilities. It's not enough for you to just let people enjoy what they enjoy. You're like, no, that's not allowed. You know, you're like the, the horrible teacher from Matilda. That's what it is. No fun. I decide what fun is. Everyone's image of fun should match mine. Exactly. If not, then they're racist. Uh, the report added the clip was considered less acceptable because the participants felt it was purposefully offensive. Yeah. Uh, and stereotyping and targeting an ethnic minority for comedy purposes. Some reasoned that it was important to still show the content to reflect the beliefs of society at the time. That still mostly is the beliefs of society, by the way. People find those types of jokes funny. The problem is a bunch of little liberals like grew up to an age where they accessed the internet and they became loud little crybabies. Because see how all these screeching leftists, right? Do you understand how little of the population they make up? They make up a teeny tiny little fraction of the population. Everyone else is like normal. Everyone else is normal. They, they, even though the radical leftists make up a tiny portion of the population, they screech the loudest and they are, you know, they're a lot more vindictive when it comes to going after people who don't uh, toe the party line. Uh, however, there were concerns that it could normalise racist behaviour which could be repeated by young children. Why are you letting young children watch Little Britain? Again, this is us coming back to the parents now, where it's like, parents, don't let your children watch stuff like this. It's an adult comedy show. There are, like, dick and sex jokes and all that type of stuff in it, so why are you letting your children watch it? That falls down to the parents. If you're a parent, don't don't let your children watch stuff like this. There you are. Problem solved. Problem solved. Be a good parent. Which would solve many, many, many problems. Uh, episodes of Little Britain starring Williams and Matt Lucas have previously been removed from streaming services following criticism over the use of blackface on the show. The whole series was removed in 2020 but returned last year with some scenes edited out because they're cowards. Uh, Ofcom said further research found that the portrayal of sex and sexual relationships on TV has improved and modernised. People said programmes are less likely to include the objectification of women, gender stereotypes or uncritical views of exploitative relationships. Dumb. Uh, viewers also said sex scenes were less likely to be exclusively from the perspective of a man. I don't know why that matters, but okay. But there was a feeling that levels of violence on TV have increased and intensified. Oh, here we are. We're going back to the 90s. Are we going back to the 90s where I was, oh, there's violence on TV. I blame the, I blame the parents. I blame that. M I blame MTV and Counter-Strike. That, that, are we going back to that? Yeah. Uh, graphic and realistic violent content was considered the norm after the, uh, the 9 o'clock watershed. Well, some viewers found that previous taboo topics such as sadistic behaviour and sexual violence are now more common, Ofcom said. The media watchdog surveyed 118 people for that study. Some participants felt the increase in violence on screen reflected changes in society and on audience's tastes, but others felt it was driven by a need to increase ratings and compete with more graphic and adult-focused content on streaming services. I think one thing that I noticed as well is a lot of shows did actually become a lot more graphic, especially after Game of Thrones, which had, you know, full frontal nudity, it had a lot of gore, it had all that type of stuff and everything, it had like full-on rape scenes and stuff like that as well, but that was designed for storytelling. It was, it was obviously designed to be shocking, but it was done in the vein of, Look how awful things are in this universe. Like, that's that's why it was done. But the problem is that really hit hard because everybody was like, this show is so dark and gritty and brutal and people absolutely loved it. And then Game of Thrones absolutely committed seppuku with the last two, three... Four seasons, <laughs> like the last, the last, the last three, four seasons were not great and they absolutely killed itself. But people were, but people really enjoyed it. So now everybody else is trying to copy them because people, people like that, right? They're like, oh, is that what people like? That's what we'll make then. Again. If there is demand, the market will step in. Uh, viewers said more realistic scenes of violence like those in shows such as Game of Thrones uh, and Peaky Blinders made programmes more immersive and exciting and also noted that modern portrayals were more likely to show the negative consequence of violent action. Where basically the old Hayes Code thing. The Hayes Code's coming back. Whereas basically if anybody does anything bad under the Hayes Code rules, if anybody does anything bad like a bad guy, they must always get their comeuppance. 
that was that was part of the Hayes Code. Like, see, for example, like Avengers, where Thanos did the click at the end of the movie and then fucked off. Uh, under the Hayes Code, that would not have been allowed. That would not have been allowed. Uh, in the same movie, the bad guy always has to get their comeuppance. And that's why, basically, our mu uh, American uh, movie studios were losing hard to everybody else all over the world because people just started watching foreign media instead. Uh, parents also said warnings and the watershed were still important measures to protect children and that people expect edgier content to be shown on subscription services. But they acknowledged that on-demand viewing had diminished the effectiveness of the watershed as a parental control. Then why do you not have parental controls on your on your streaming services like for example i've got them on mine right my kids can only watch kids netflix takes takes two seconds to set up right whenever my kids are like watching well, i say kids like the six month old has no idea what's going on <laughs> she doesn't know but my toddler like i will go in and what you're watching oh miss rachel that's cool miss rachel by the way right everyone makes memes god bless her she's managed to get my toddler talking a lot more uh, honestly, people make fun of it and all that type of stuff, right? But I also seen jokes as well where people were saying, in about twenty five years from now, there's going to be an entire generation of young men and women who are going to be able, going to be willing to storm the Capitol on Miss Rachel's command. <laughs> She's, you know, watch Miss Rachel. She's going to rule the world one day, <laughs> right? But still, uh, in regards to this, if people are bothered, I've said this so many times. I'm just parroting the same stuff now. If you don't like a program and you find it very very offensive. Don't watch it. Just don't watch it, right? Little Britain is no... See, if you don't know that Little Britain was, you know, a little bit spicy back in the day, then, you know, you've been living under a rock, right? Just don't watch it. That's the easiest solution. There are programs that left us like that I don't like, that I find quite offensive, like the ones that are like, white people are bad, yeah? And then the rest of the panel are all like, mm, yeah, yeah. I love them because I don't know. That's that's what they're into. I don't know. I don't watch it, <laughs> right? I think I'm just assuming that that's what they're into. That would offend me. I wouldn't like that. I'm not going around saying, "Oh, we should shut that down." That's terrible. That's awful. I just understand that if that's what they like, that's what they like, and they can watch it. The simple solution is, I just don't watch it, right? Because I'm not a giant fucking baby, right? I'm not going to go that you enjoying media that I don't like. like. I'm not asking everyone in the world to change to my sensibilities because I understand that different people have different tastes and they're into different things and whatever. Like, you probably like movies that I don't like. I probably like movies that you don't like. That's just the way it works, right? But to try and ban what other people can watch because you personally don't like it, that just kind of makes you a bit of a bitch. 